When you think of famous slasher villains, some pretty iconic faces immediately spring to mind. Jason in his hockey mask, Freddy's messed up face, and of course, Michael Myers' white Captain Kirk mask. Yeah, that's what that originally was, by the way. It's an iconic look that has struck fear in the hearts of moviegoers everywhere each time a new entry in the Halloween franchise has come out. Well, okay, except for 1988's Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, which kind of just had us all laughing at how bad the mask looked. But why? How did this happen? Well, by the time production began on Halloween 4, the original mask used in 1 and 2 was not around anymore. So a new mask was going to need to be created. That shouldn't have been that hard. So Halloween 4's makeup technician Ken Horn asked for molds of the original William Shatner mask. What he got, though, were six masks that looked nowhere near what they needed to. I mean, they were pink with white hair. So Horn had to paint the masks himself and dye the hair. This, though, didn't go quite according to plan and resulted in a mask that was very white as the paint was so thick and all the features were completely wiped away. It really is a shame because Halloween 4 is one of the better sequels. Sure, it might not have Jamie Lee Curtis, but it hadn't veered off into the wacky cult plotline yet. Still, you can't help but wonder how much better it would have been if the villain actually looked frightening rather than kind of goofy.